Hi, welcome to my video. I recently came into some very beautiful organic Swiss chard, and this is how I cooked it. I had about two cups of chard by the time I chopped it up, and I used one small onion, which I sliced. Then I chopped up two cloves of garlic, and I wanted to make this very simply. So all I added in terms of spices were some salt and some black pepper. That's it. I heated up about a tablespoon and a half of vegetable oil on medium high heat and I didn't even wait for the oil to get hot. I just threw in the garlic and onions. I gave them a stir to make sure that they were properly coated in the oil and then I tried to spread them out so that they wouldn't crowd each other. You can see here that they're starting to sizzle so I turned down the heat a little bit probably to about medium low and then I went back in and gave them a push around so that uh, they wouldn't get stuck in one spot. I didn't want these to caramelize or get burnt. Then I added in the two cups of chopped Swiss chard. I think I might have said swish like swish and flick. Um, you can also see that I added a little bit of olive oil just a small drizzle because I don't want this to be oily but I I like the flavor of olive oil. And as you can see, I am trying to keep things moving. And as I do that, the Swiss chard is reducing so much. I mean, I started out with two cups. I think I have half of that now. Then I added salt and pepper, but just a little bit because I didn't want to overpower the natural flavor of the chard itself. Then as you can see, I brought the chard closer to the center and um, I, I decided to steam it just for a minute. I actually turned off the stove, but I kept it covered for a minute just to make sure that the leaves were nice and soft, but not wilty. And that was it. Once everything was prepped, this took maybe all of seven minutes and the chard was so delicate and delicious. And summer's almost gone in Toronto and all these beautiful greens are just gonna disappear. So I hope you try this while there's time. And if you do, take a picture and post it on social media because I'd love to see what you're making. And check out my other videos and subscribe and share and comment and like and connect with me because I want to know what you're cooking and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.